Thank you, Tony. Well, a five day extradition hearing began today in Scotland for a Rhode Island man whom prosecutors say faked his own death to escape sexual assault charges. This hearing will determine if Nicholas Aliverdian is brought back to the States to Utah to face rape charges. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joins us now live in studio with the latest. Lauren. Well, Kim Shannon Nicholas Oliverdian failed in his attempt to delay this hearing, which began earlier today. Oliverdian is accused of faking his own death to avoid sexual assault charges. 35 year old Nicholas Oliverdian, who is also known as Nicholas Rossi and claims he is Arthur Knight, arrives at Edinburgh Sheriff Court today in a legal gown and with his court papers carried in a box for a microwave oven. According to BBC Scotland, during Monday's hearing, Oliverdian's lawyer asked the judge, who is called a sheriff in Scotland, to throw out his hearing. The reason? A recent decision to move Oliverdian to a prison in England, so police in Essex could question him about an alleged rape there. The sheriff rejected the delay, accepting the argument that no charges have been filed against Rossi in England. The start of this hearing comes 18 months after Oliverdian was arrested in Glasgow Hospital while being treated for COVID. According to the BBC, Oliverdian faked his own death in 2020 and fled to the UK to escape sexual assault charges. For months, the Rhode Island man claims he is a victim of mistaken identity, referring to himself as as Arthur Knight, an Irish orphan living in Scotland. But in November, a Scottish court determined the man who went by the name Arthur Knight was actually Oliverdian. Despite this ruling, BBC Scotland says at today's trial, Oliverdian continued to refer to himself as Mr. Knight. And the extradition hearing continues tomorrow. We'll bring you the latest updates on air and on WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.